What's up, everyone? It's Deagle Beagle. So, all these years, I didn't even think about hiding the showdown stuff and just looking at this. So, we're going to go over Como O today. And there's a few different ways to use it. So, the first way is probably something like this. You could use more speed or less. It's a speed creep issue. But you do need at least 138 speed. And if you look at it, you can't reach that with modest. Barely not, unfortunately. So you would end up speed tying, possibly, I believe, with flutter main. Let's double check that. 1.5 times 137. Yeah, that would speed tie with flutter main, and you probably don't want that. So, yeah, I mean, you could, because actually a lot of flutter mains aren't max speed. But personally, I would probably just, you know, waste a few EVs to make sure you outspeed that in bundle. And you could even outspeed Dragapult if you want to give it a little extra speed. Which I might actually do, because... Dragapult isn't super uncommon. It's probably going to be more common to beat stuff like Como, actually. So, anyways, give it Timid. At least 138 speed. Usually. 138. And Overcoat is going to be the most common ability. But I believe as time goes on... Soundproof will be more common to counter other come offs. So, those are going to be the two best abilities with it. The bulletproof, that's, there's, that's not that useful. There's not that many bullet moves. Like, shadow ball. It, it should say, not just bullet moves, like, ball or bomb moves. Like, if it ends with ball or bomb, like sludge bomb, shadow ball... I think Bullet Seed and a few others, it doesn't take damage. And that used to be better in the past when those moves were more common. They might be slightly more common now with like Weezing and stuff. But overall, they're not that common. And Weezing could just use a Fairy move instead of Sludge Bomb. So, no point really. And you're going to use Terra Steel most likely with Como anyways. So they're definitely not going to use Sledge Bomb very often. And so the, this would be the most common set, except possibly Iron Head over Flash Cannon and making it mixed, and possibly a physical move over Aura Sphere like Drain Punch or Close Combat for either more power or to have it be mixed and hit Pokemon with Pokemon with high special defense but low defense harder or like like Drain Punch would be good to restore HP in the past that's been used a lot so you're going to see a wide variety of Kamaos different abilities different items most of them are probably going to use Throat Spray but what they're going to have in common is Clangorous Skull Clangorous Soul Clanging Scales they're going to pretty much all use those two moves <clears throat> they're going to give it a lot of speed. Almost all of them will be Tim in nature with probably most of them maxing out the offense as well. So you're probably not going to have a lot of bulk with most Como's, maybe a little bit. Uh, some of them might use something like, like Citrus Berry, even though Throat Spray just raising special... Uh, attack would be really useful but on a mixed one or primarily physical one besides clanging scales you might see citrus instead of throat spray because if you don't use special attacks primarily then it's not as good but if you're using like all special attacks like this one it could be quite good but I personally wouldn't probably use this kind of como because flash cannons probably not killing flutter main Unless they, unless you first tear steel with it and they use like no bulk. Um, like, well, it just, here, let's calculate really quick. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. But I just know Flutter Main has a lot of special defense. And a lot of people use max HP with it or a lot of HP. So, 
what is it? Coma all. Oh yeah, it doesn't have it. Um, shoot. Let's take Hydreigon. Yeah, that's what I did last time. Without life orb. Um, oh yeah, throat. Actually, with throat spray, flash cannon actually could probably kill a Fluttermane. I didn't even think about that. Uh, that. Is it even registering it? It's not even registering throat spray. Alright, well. Just make it plus two special attack then. And it, it has 152 stat for the special attack. So, with Terra Steel. Yeah, actually, I would use this pure special one. Because if that is going to kill a Flutter main, that e I bet even if it has max HP, it's going to kill. Yeah, it does. So yeah, I'd probably use a Throat Spray, Coma O, because Throat Spray helps. If you use a pure special one, it helps all your moves. If you're using Aura Sphere, you could even make it mixed with Throat Spray and give it like drain punch or close combat but unless you need the coverage probably not i mean that i mean the extra power from close combat or you need the extra hp back uh probably just go with aura sphere i mean you're gonna have so much special attack i'd personally use one like this and this is another option though iron head if you don't want to use throat spray or invest maybe as much I mean you want to make it mixed or whatever and yeah uh, this is an option and then this is kind of another option did I include all the options uh, I think I'm going to include one last option but the main items are going to be throat spray and citrus to heal back the damage that Clangorous Soul does, which it takes a third of your health away, so after one more hit, um, you'll be pretty low, and Citrus would be nice to heal that back. I would use Citrus over Leftovers because you're probably not going to survive enough Leftovers, especially if you're using Clanging Scale and lowering your defense. That is one issue with this. However, if you're going against like Don Dozo or whatever, then it doesn't really matter. So you could change this to Drain Punch or I don't know if I would though because it does get an attack increase but not only can you get intimidated but you like having to not use an attack lowering nature just because of Drain Punch. I don't know. I mean you could use an attack lowering nature with it. Uh, that's fine. You don't have to use like Hasty or whatever. So, but I don't know. I might, since it already has a lot of defense and de and physical moves probably won't hit it that hard compared to special moves like doesn't. Well, actually, if you tear steel, they might. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. It's hard to say what you should do if you're gonna pick Drain Punch. Um, we'll have to test around with all these moves with the meta game and see. But unless Drain Punch is doing a lot of damage it's not going to be good you probably would wa want like or sphere but at least it does make it mixed and not so weak to struggle bug snarl things like that or pokemon with really high special defense but usually even the high special defense pokemon take a lot of damage from como because they're going to be probably weak to flash cannon or or a dragon move or take decent damage from or sphere somehow i mean let's just look at the high special defense pokemon Like Gudra, uh, no one's. They're gonna use Gudra, the Hisui form. That's weak to Aura Sphere, and Acid, and it goes through the Acid Armor problem. Ignores that problem, and some other Pokemon that are common. Wait a minute, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong tier. So. Wochian, that might run Snarl, so I could kind of see Drain Punch, 
even though it, it could just tear a water or what or tear a poison or whatever anyways so i don't know that pokemon's not used that much fluttermane not a problem sylveon's not used much but it's not a problem either with flash cannon there's not i mean chrysalia takes a lot from um clanging scales not a lot from but the most from out of all its moves you would use clanging scales probably most of the time because it's a spread move and pretty powerful get stab so intimidate doesn't affect it but there are a few pokemon let's go to the typing chart really quick um actually no we don't even need to do that because we already know fairy types hold on what Fairy types and steel types are the only things that resist dragon. So, enamorous. That would get hit by fairy. By, so, steel covers the fairy problem pretty well with flash cannon or iron head. And then, as far as. Yeah, I don't think fairy is going to be the main issue. I think steel Pokemon will more likely be an issue. Or, just in general, if they use tarot defensively with something but but uh como should have enough coverage to cover pretty much everything so let's see bronzong would take neutral from aura sphere not weak to it though so steel types that are not weak to flash cannon nor actually no steel will be weak to flash cannon but uh steel types that aren't weak to fighting will be a little bit annoying like Tinkaton will definitely be a good counter to it even though you could tear a steel to wall a Tinkaton and just focus on hitting its ally and Goldango might be an issue for uh, Kamao and yeah I think must say Goldango and Tinkaton but Goldango Gildango would probably the, be the most common issue, actually, now that I think about it. Um, if, well, or Terrace, possibly. So, where was I? I had Como somewhere. Oh. Como, oh. I'm pretty sure it gets Flamethrower or something. Maybe not. Are you serious? Let's look at its special attacks. It does get flamethrower. Flame How did I miss that? So flamethrower would be good versus Goldango and, and a few other Pokemon. I mean, anything that's weak to fire. Amoongus, whatever. Um, but in general, I would probably use this set. So... Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. If you want me to cover any um, Pokemon or things in particular like combos, then please request that. I think I'm going to cover the Weezing Slacking combo, which is going to be like the similar to the Weezing Regigigas combo, but not necessarily as good. And yeah, I think um, I think I'll figure out some combos like combo is going to be used a lot i know with amoongus so that's our automatically going to be a combo with rage powder them being both uh immune to spore is naturally good also so expect a lot of amoongus combo and regulation e thanks for watching bye